this is the moment you waited for. Whoa! Been searching in the dark, your sweat soaking through the floor. Whoa! And buried in your bones, there's an ache that you can't ignore. Taking your breath, stealing your mind, and all that was real is left behind. So tell me, do you want to go? Where it's covered in all the colored lights. Where the runaways are running the night. Impossible comes to is taking over you. Oh, this, this is, is the greatest show. It's everything you ever want. It's everything you ever need. And it's here right in front of you. This is where you want to be. It's everything you ever want. It's everything you ever need. And it's here right in front of you. This is where you want to be. It's everything you ever want. It's everything you ever need. The Barnum name has been a household fixture in the United States for well over a century. The story of Phineas Taylor Barnum has been told and retold in many forms. One such retelling has brought delight to many, his musical grace and storytelling excellence. Today we share with you a story of love and passion. It's everything you ever want. It's everything you ever need. We hope you enjoy The, the Greatest, Greatest Showman by Jenny Bix and Bill Condon. Sir, sir, if I may, Phineas Taylor Barnum, I believe I have skills that go well beyond counting numbers into an adding machine. I've read about this German fellow, Lilienthal. I believe he's developed a glider that can take a man into the air. Sir, isn't that amazing? If we're to apply it to our business... Gentlemen, may I have your attention? You've all been dismissed. Bankrupt? I thought the company had a dozen trading ships. Yep, at the bottom of the South China Sea. Typhoon sank them all. Good day, sir. Bill, you're home early. Until further notice, Cherry, this isn't the life I promised you. Where's the magic? And what do you call our two little girls? Hey, girls, look who! Dad, did you bring a present? A present for what? My birthday. It's not your birthday. Idiot. Okay, yes, I have a present, but not just any present. Oh, no, the most amazing birthday present ever. This extraordinary device was originally created by Leonardo da Vinci more than 400 years ago, but the blueprints have been lost for centuries until just two weeks ago on a stormy night when a sunken pirate ship washed up on the shores of Nantucket. They found skeletons and treasures, and the blueprints were recovered by none other than J.W. Mercantile. The blueprints crossed my desk just very briefly, but I managed to commit them to memory. And if I have remembered correctly, Happy birthday, Caroline. This is a wishing machine. You tell it your wishes, and it keeps them safe until they come true. Even if you forget them, they're always there. Can I tell a wish? Step right up. I wish to marry Santa Claus. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice wish. And I wish for ballet slippers. What do you wish for, Mommy? I wish for happiness forever. Because every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me away. A million dreams are keeping me away. I think of what the world could be, a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's going to take. A million dreams for the world we're going to make. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Barnum's American Museum. See the world's largest man, trapeze, exotic animals, and more. Freaks! That's quite enough of that. Come on, let's go. We'll be back with Barnum. Mr. Barnum, James Gordon Bennett, New York Herald. Yes, you're the critic from the newspaper, the one who labeled my show a, a primitive circus of humbug. Yes. Circus. I like circus. Tell me, Mr. Barnum, does it bother you that everything you're selling is fake? Are these smiles fake? Does it matter where it comes from if the joy is real? So you are a philanthropist. Well, hyperbole isn't a true crime. Man benefits from imagining too much, not too little. The creed of a true broad. Ugh, when, is, when is the last time you smiled at the theater critic who can't find joy? Oh, and Mr. Bennett, the word you use to describe my show, I kind of like it. Look, isn't that the circus girl? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. My dad says there was women in that town. Hey, circus girl, <laughs> what's that smell? Peanuts. <laughs> Dad, I'm quitting ballet. Quitting 
What do you mean? You're a prima ballerina. I started too late. I just want to move on. She can't quit. I want her to be proud of who we are. She is proud. We don't have to be the Carlisles. But I want to be. Oh, my love, we have everything we could want and more. Where are you going? To find this Carlisle guy myself. <sighs> Nothing will ever be enough for you, Phineas. Are you Mr. Carlisle, the Mr. Carlisle who produces the plays? Refunds are available in the front office. Mr. Carlisle, P.T. Barnum. The circus guy. What do you want? Uh, you know. Have you ever been to one of my shows? No, but your reputation precedes itself. Exactly. That's why I need you. Need me for what, Mr. Barnum? Help me to appeal to the high brows. Do you have any idea how suffocating that can be? It'll pull you in, and you can never escape. Yes, but you've done it, and I need your help. <laughs> Please come see my show. Welcome, Mr. Carlisle, to the backstage of Barnum's American Museum. Is that a dwarf? What are you looking at? Oh, good day, <laughs> sir. Hey, sweet thing. Hello, sir. I mean, ma'am? Is that a bearded lady or a male soprano? Quite something, isn't she? Ah, uh, yes, we have it all here. Trapeze, animals, folks from every walk of life. Hello. Hey, sir. As you can see, the show isn't much, but it's ours. No, it's... Excuse me? The show is great. Why would you want to change it? I get crowds every night. The same crowds. But if I'm ever to appeal to a higher society, I need something that isn't just another sideshow novelty. What is your call? Come with me. Where are we going? I need to introduce you to someone. I'd like you to meet Miss Jenny Lynn. Miss Lynn? Wow, what an honor. Phineas Taylor Barnum. precedes you. As does yours. You sing, right? <clears throat> and from what I understand, you have the voice of an angel. Have you ever actually heard me sing? Yes. No, but if you let me sponsor a show for you, I'll give you 20% of the earnings. Think of it now, ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Lynn, sponsored by Barnum's American Museum. Get your tickets now. We're selling out fast. Can you believe it? Where is she? She's still getting ready. Everyone is here. I hope she can actually see. Calm it. down. Here she comes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you. Recently, I had an opportunity to hear the voice better than anything I've heard before. It is my honor to present you, Miss Jenny Lynn. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. You set off a dream in me. Getting louder now. Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand. Will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you, We must take this on tour, Miss Lynn. Mr. Barnum, all of these ovations, while lovely, they seem to leave a hole somewhere else. It's almost like it's not enough. It feels like something is missing or someone. You, you. Mr. Barnum. We sh I should go. Oh, so that's it then. I'm just another passing show for you. No, that's not it. I risked everything. You must tour for me. Towers of gold are still too little. These hands could hold the world, but it'll never be enough. Never be enough for me. Miss Lynn, Mr. Barnum. 
grab a photo. Goodbye, Mr. Boyle. I, I need to go home. Oh, you were home early from your tour. Ah, uh, the tour goes on. I couldn't stay away from you and the girls any longer. Step right up, Gardens American <coughs> Museum goes on. Hey, you freak. You need to take this show somewhere Sir, else. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Or what? You gonna do something about Sir, it? Sir, I won't ask you again. Leave now. Fine. Have it your way. If you won't take this show somewhere else, we'll burn it to the ground. I must say, dear, I'm surprised to see you home. You were so intent on having a tour. It seems as though our life here wasn't enough. Oh, no. You know, I've always been happy with everything we've had here. Well, the way you left for tour in such a hurry, the girls and I thought. Trust me, the tour was great, but there's no place I'd rather be than here with you. Fire! It's coming from the circus. Fire at the circus. I must. Go! Is everyone out? Is everyone okay? No, what happened? The protesters, they did this. Is everyone okay? What's next? The building is coming down. I need to make sure everyone is out. Philip, no! Philip! My God. He ran into a fire. Save this? And I was doing all I could trying to leave it behind. Mr. Bennett, if you've come here to gloat. I've not. They've caught the thugs. And from what I understand, your assistant will recover. Just inhale a lot of the smoke. That's good of you. I do hope you rebuild. I never liked your show, but. The people did. We'll rebuild. Jenny's tour will make profits. And You've not heard? Lind quits. A scandal's kiss from P.T. Barnum? Oh, I'm sure it's on every paper in New York. Oh no, Charity. I do not wish to speak with you. Charity, she fabricated the whole thing. I do not have feelings for her. Of course you don't, because you only care about yourself and your show. Charity, we can rebuild this life. I don't want this life. I'm going home. This is our home. Not anymore. It was, but not anymore. Goodbye. Cherry. Here it is then. My only friend runs into a fire to save those he loves. And I can't even save mine for myself. Our show is ended. I have nothing. Feeling sorry for yourself, Barnum? If you'd come to get paid, I have nothing left. I found it. It's over here. <laughs> there you are. We didn't do it for the money, you idiot. We did it for you. For me? Boy, you're dense. You gave us a sense of belonging that we've never had before. Philip, you gave up everything for this, didn't you? We'd do it again for a friend. You guys, I'm so sorry. I lost everything we had chasing after something more. Aren't you forgetting something? The most valuable thing any of us had was each other. Yes, but our show is gone and I have nothing to rebuild it with. No money, no credit. I think you're forgetting something else. I'm a Carlisle. We'll rebuild. Just promise me you'll learn something from this. Phil, I... Just say thank you, Barna. Thank you. I love you guys. Isn't there something else you need to fix? You're right. Charity, I need to... Go, stupid! <laughs> Charity... All along, you were right, and I didn't listen. If you'll forgive me, Charity, I was selfish. I put my own desires for money and fame ahead of everything else. I put you and our girls in a terrible position. I wanted so much more for all of us. All I ever wanted was the man that I fell in love with. Charity, I promise from here on forward, I love you unconditionally and take nothing for granted.